excuse me, sir, but what exactly are you doing there? What does it look like? I'm painting a children's book. And how's it going? Oh, it's going fantastically. I am a true professional. My name is Arthur Painter, but you can call me Art for short. Artist! All right, art it is. So, what is it you're painting exactly? Well, like I said, it's a children's book. Um, it's it's a little um, it's abstract. It's um, um. Uh, uh, and is that ketchup and mustard you're painting? With? Yes, and chocolate and syrup. Yes. Mm hmm. Uh, but how? Oh, oh, Mister, what's your name? Don't worry about it. I'm just the narrator. Okay. Well, Mister Narrator, I have a small confession to make. I don't actually know what I'm doing. See, I I never even picked up a paintbrush before. I just thought if I dressed like an artist, put on this fake mustache, maybe I could um, play the part to live up to the name so or something. your name really is Art Painter. Yes, it's really Art Painter, and my whole life I've tried to live up to that name. Do you know what that's like? <sighs> well, actually, my full name is Narrator, so, but, but never mind that. So you're trying to live up to your name, and to do that, you just grabbed a brush and started painting away. Precisely! And it's not going very well. Positively poopy. Well, I'll tell you what. I think I know a way to help you. Do you see that book on the shelf behind you? Yes, I see lots of books on the shelf behind me. The one that says, Artist to Artist, 23 major illustrators talk to children about their art. Could you maybe point it out to me, please? Unfortunately, that whole narrator thing makes me a little not physical, especially since that would technically mean there are two people of the same place at the ah, same time because of, uh, this one uh, technically this, this one here? what uh, oh yeah that's the one y you see art that book is specifically designed to help children understand a little bit more about what it takes to be an illustrator and about some of the methods famous illustrators use to create their pictures this book actually includes 23 different letters that illustrators sent in explaining how they became illustrators and how they create their illustrations wow sounds very interesting it is so, um, just who are these famous artists who are supposed to be providing me with all of their advice and wisdom? I mean, how do I know they're not just phonies like the great art painter? Well, if you look closer at the shelf behind you, you'll see some of their books. A lot of them are award-winning illustrators. Like Eric Carle. He's actually the one that helped put the book together. Wow. Have you seen any of his other books, like those there? The Hungry Caterpillar and the Very Grouchy Ladybug? Ah, yes, he is fantastic! Agreed. And how about Marie Sendak, author and illustrator of Where the Wild Things Are? Oh, yes, of course. Of or course. Chris Van Alsberg, author of The Polar Express? Oh, who hasn't? Well, I mean, at least I, I did see the movie. Does that still count? <laughs> sure. And that's just the beginning of the list. Twenty other famous illustrators wrote letters to young artists in the book, too, including Stephen Kellogg, Tommy DePaulo, and Rosemary Wells. Hmm. So, does that mean that, like, I'm going to have to sit here and read through a bunch of letters? Well, they aren't just a bunch of letters. They're written for kids, and they really are very good and worth reading. But, yeah, to make things even more interesting, each letter is accompanied by several examples of that illustrator's mm -hmm. artistic style. I like that. If you open the book there, you'll see that with every letter, there is a fold-out page to show you even more of that illustrator's work. Ooh, snazzy! Uh-huh, I thought so. There's even a pop-up if you go to page 95. Oh, okay, that is 75, page 85, page, 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 no, you can't just copy someone else's ideas. You need to come up with your own unique style. A actually, you weren't that far off before when you simply started experimenting. What? So then why should I read this book in the first place? See, the book doesn't set out to teach you exactly how to illustrate. Its goal is to inspire you, to motivate you. It's a tool that can help show you the path others have taken in order to help you on your own. The first author in the book... Mitsumasa Ano reminds kids that our own life experiences and culture shape us each into unique individuals with our own preferences and patterns. Oh. Still confused? A little, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. The best thing to do right now is to read that book, get some ideas from some incredible artists and illustrators, and then go out and experiment and explore. Well, I will do just that. Um, are you going to just stay there and watch me read? 
Nah, I'll cut away to promote the book one last time. Have fun though, Art. Oh, I will. Once again, it's an amazing read if you have any interest in becoming an illustrator. And even if you don't, this book is still quite interesting, and might be just the spark that gets you interested in something you had never thought about before. Look for a copy in your school or public library today, or on Amazon.